Every time I join the server, it's always nighttime. Welcome back to the Apollo server. It has been way too long. I don't even know what episode it is. Something in the 20s? I don't know. I'm guessing. Today, we're just going to build and talk. Actually, we're going to dig some and build, then build, and while talking. I don't know what I want to talk about. I have things I want to talk about. It's possibly. I don't know, I didn't prepare for this. As you can see, I'm using a, pack text a custom texture pack here. This is a purple resource pack I have made myself. There will be a download link in the description if anyone is interested. I need to throw away a bunch of the crap from my inventory. Um, so I'm gonna make a double chest. And just throw it all in there because we need lots of inventory space. Alright, inventory cleared out. We're gonna go get some andesite, which we can get from Underneath the spawn. <laughs> so back where I just was. Aha, here we go. So I just need to gather a bunch of this. And there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. Now, thing is, I wish I could, for the life of me, remember it. Oh, now my cat's here. I just finished recording um, Everlasting Summer. And I was like, I thought I heard my cat. Well, now she's actually here to bug me. Yay. Can you not... One sec. Okay. So I guess the first thing I should talk about really is streaming. I've been streaming to YouTube a lot more lately, as you may have may or may not have noticed. There's two reasons. One, I wanted to just try out YouTube streaming because I felt like it, but two. Can you not? Hey, no. She just laid down right on top of my computer. Like those are the only two exhaust fans in my entire case. She, that's basically like choking it. <laughs> this is gay. Can I get around to this? Is one I wanted to. I wanted to test out my my streaming, YouTube streaming, um, just on its own, right? Because I've never done that before. I've always streamed to Twitch, and I like it. There's a lot more control over a YouTube stream than there's a Twitch stream. You can see so many different things, like the maximum concurrent concurrent viewers you had at one point, or one second, I gotta check something with my audio. Okay, sorry. I was probably extremely loud for that last bit. My microphone was still boosted. I'm going to be a lot, not, lot nicer and quieter. I'll try and fix that in editing. We'll see how well that works. But a lot more, con more control. Like I can see the maximum concurrent views I've had at one point in the entire stream. So if at one point in the stream it hit nine viewers, I can see that it hit nine viewers at one point in the stream. That's really cool. Um, I can run ads, though I'm still needing to figure that part out. <laughs> okay, we're not going to go for that. We'll go for some more easily accessible ones. Um, so I can run ads. I can... What can I do? Well, it's uploaded directly to YouTube for me, so there's no... If I want to upload an archive to YouTube, there's no having to, re having to upload or anything. It's just ready as it goes. Um, let's see. What else about it? I don't know, I just, I just, I just find it better. So, I want to try and keep a balance between Twitch and YouTube streams. I don't want to, I also don't, I also don't want to like flood my channel with just, just YouTube streaming. I don't want to become Seth Bling. I really hate that that's all he does nowadays, and he rarely does that in the first place, so. Um, I don't want to become Seth Bling, so. That's the thing. But I'm also not on the Minecraft server. If I would, if I would. This is why I'm not on the Minecraft server. <laughs> if I was, I'd probably be, I'd probably record way more videos on it. Maybe not as crazy as Chad, who does one every single free freaking day. I don't know how he keeps up with that. I barely kept up with that with Everlasting Summer. Suppose we can count that, talk about that too. Everlasting Summer is eventually going to come to a close, as much as it sucks. <laughs> To say that it's a really fun game. I'm still in Slav, I'm still running Slav as right. If you watch that and you're watching this, then cool. It means I gained, I possibly gained a viewer from that in other series. So woo. Um, but no, I, I gained a viewer. I gained a viewer. I finished that. I got Elisa's route. And this is the bad ending, but I don't care. It was not. I don't care about the bad ending. It was my ending, right? It's the ending I got from my own decision. So that's all that matters to me. And so now I'm just going through all the routes because I feel like it. 
the thing that works out almost perfectly with that game is after this visual novel, um, Everlasting Summer, I'm going to be playing another visual novel called uh, Nekopara, or Nekopara, as I like to call it. <laughs> it just sounds cute. It is, if you don't know what a Neko is, I'll put a picture up right now. Ding. <laughs> Um, I'm too lazy to download a ding sound effect, so there you go. I make it myself. So it's all about Nekos. Two Nekos, to be exact. I've seen the demo for it. I've never played, the, I haven't played the demo, but I've seen the demo played. Um, and it's pretty cool. I didn't do a face cam with Everlasting Summer, but I think I'll do a face cam with Nekopara because, I don't know, it feels more interesting that way. And more personal. Because you see me on a good level. I have a good face cam, or a good webcam. I don't, I haven't bought a good one yet. I'm just borrowing my mom's, who has a Microsoft HD, Microsoft Live Cam HD 5000. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Though, Advanced Warfare, there's gonna be an Advanced Warfare video coming out sometime in the coming weeks, probably a few days from when after this comes out. Um, that I think my, I think Shadowplay accidentally recorded with my, with the, with the webcam microphone. So it sounds like there's a lot of clipping on all that. I'm just like, my microphone doesn't clip that bad. It's, I mean, it clips sometimes because it can get loud, but it's not that bad. It's a $180 AT2020. Which, oh yeah, if you only watch my, if you only watch my Apollo episode videos, I'm sorry, there hasn't been one for a long time. I just haven't had anything interesting to do on the server. I've been playing. I just haven't had anything interesting to do. Um, you'll also notice then now my microphone quality is a lot better, way better. Like. There, I'm pretty. I'm not sure if you could hear this, but there is popping sounds a lot in the old microphone. There's still some in this. Like if I say, the to the usual test of Peter picked a pack of pickled peppers, you're gonna hear some popping sounds, but not as bad as my snowball. I'm going to be doing a review of this microphone. It is XLR, and it's not just gonna be a review. Uh, it's not gonna be a review of just the microphone. It's gonna be a whole review of I switched to XLR from USB, and if how how bad it was, how much it cost, was it worth it? Which, if you want a little bit of a um, sneak peek, definitely worth it. So worth it. Even, it's worth it even just for this feature. I'm going to keep talking, and suddenly I'm going to stop. Unplugged my microphone. <laughs> that whole time, that was not edited. That audio was not edited. My, when I unplug my microphone and plug it back in with XLR, Windows does not have to re-recognize my XLR setup and go, okay, let me re reinstall the drivers. Every, every application that uses it doesn't have to reload things. It is so awesome just for that feature alone. But it also sounds better, it gives you better quality, and I can easily upgrade to an even more professional microphone than the AT2020, which I don't know why I would ever get rid of this microphone. It is a beauty. I'm going to have to talk about the microphone, because that's just a small feature. I'm thinking about buying a new part for my computer. <laughs> a new graphics card, because I've realized now it's not a processor that makes a system, it's a graphics card. I'm fine with my 6-core AMD FX6300 processor. It could render a little bit faster for videos, but that doesn't matter. I mean, for every Everlasting Summer video, it takes about an hour to render a 30-minute video, so it takes a long time, but I don't care. This is a hobby, it's something I do because I love to do it, not because it's my job, so. Also, I want to give a little bit of an update to uh, what I... I made a channel update way back in August, saying that I'm not going to be running ads on my channel anymore, um, all this and other stuff. If you remember what I talked about just like 10, 20 minutes ago, I said, um, I can run ads on my on my YouTube streams. Um, so I have, I have a new... Um, mission in life for this channel, I guess you can call it. I just want to update the channel about this. Is if you also notice, if you watch my watchdogs videos, if it will, if you watch my watchdogs videos, you'll notice they have ads running on them. I run ads on my watchdogs videos for one sole reason, not because I'm a dirty, lying cheater and I just want all the money. I've made two dollars off of YouTube. I don't. The money is. I'm not in it for the money. <laughs> in it for the fame, obviously. No. Um is because I sit, I sit there and rationalize. It, caught, it takes a very expensive computer to run that game. And the game costs a lot of money, too. So I figure, because those, just based, solely based on those two reasons, I mean, other games that cost money, but don't, like Minecraft, doesn't take too much out of a system to run it. I can run Minecraft on my laptop. I could record Minecraft on my laptop if I need, if need be. 
I just don't because my desktop is way better, and I'm, right now I'm getting about 700 frames per second while recording in 60. 720p 60, but that's just because 720p 60 is easier to render. It's quicker to render. Like, it still takes a long time, but, um, yeah. This will still take, like, over an hour to render, because this is, I don't think this, I think this is going to be more than just the regular 20, 30 minutes. So, if you like talky episodes, long talky episodes, this is going to be it. This is the one for you. If you don't, I'm sorry, but you're not forced to watch my videos. You don't have to, so that's my rationale. All right, we've got enough. We're going to head back up. I was going to do a cut there because I've just been talking just I've just been talking nonsense for third for 12 minutes, but we're good. So, on the subject of Nekopara, a little bit back there. It feels like it was so long ago, though, because normally I do like a jump, a cut by now. So I'm like, woo. Um, that I haven't with with Everlasting Summer. I haven't had to really censor that game. I had to censor it once, twice, sorry, twice because it was getting like with YouTube censoring. As it seems to me, as my understanding is that you cannot show tits. You can show boobs. You can't show tits. But they were just getting very, very, very close to showing tits. So I was like. Okay, I'm just gonna blur it out and this I also learned something effective is how to blur and move a blur and have it follow over the subject Using Sony Vegas, so I learned something about it So I just blurred it just to be safe just so my ass is covered, right? I don't want my channel suddenly disappearing like um, like what happened with Milby uh, back when he played um, oh, what, what, did, what, what was that game called? Oh, he played a visual novel Um I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll find it in a second. Just, you know, you know what? You know, you know what? I'll find it. I didn't even finish searching it up. It's Katawa Shoujo. So yeah, he got... I don't know why I had to figure that out. It's just how my mind works. But yeah, so he got... His channel disappeared for like a week or so. Just because for one frame, he showed a little bit of anime nudity. By accident. Not on purpose. By accident. He missed it in editing and, well, someone flagged him on it and YouTube said, Okay, delete. Not realizing the giant following that was behind just Minecraft and itself is like, bring him back, man. We need Milby back, so. Yeah, he's back, obviously, if you didn't know. I don't know. I don't know why I act like that. Not my, not everyone wa watches the uh, watches the, every Minecracker in the world. I don't even watch Milby anymore. But yeah. So, Neko Parra, you little shit. I was so far away from him. This sword also so should have killed him in two hits. Like, come on. Is that not a thing that can happen with a diamond sword with sharpness one on it and fire aspect? Okay, N Nekopara, as I've now recently learned, actually has nudity in it. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to have some fun with editing that and recording that. Uh, that might be, be a little awkward if you... I don't know if I want if I'm gonna cut out any of the there's okay let's just be blunt here there's sex scenes in the game and it's a visual novel meaning I all I'm doing there is while is the game is my playing field and I'm just reading it's not it's, it's, the game is my book and I'm reading it to you it's basically like a visual audiobook except it's not I'm not making any sense here so I don't know if anyone's planning on watching that or wants to watch that. I don't know. If anyone's planning on watching that, let me know. Should I skip the naughty scenes or just read through them? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so another thing I wanted to talk about was I said I would review the Audio Technica AT2020. If you can't tell already, I am more than overjoyed with this microphone. The basses in my voice are really deep now. And it is just so balanced well. Like, I sat there thinking, I'm just like, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, oh, there's nothing really that different between my microphone when I listen to it in editing. And then I listen to it edit in editing with my subwoofer plugged in, and I'm like, holy crap, there's a giant ass difference here. It's so awesome. Like, one of the things I had to do was, with my snowball, I had micro I had windows turned up to 10. Or, turned up to 10. Well, essentially, if you didn't look at it, I'm like an amplifier or something. I had to turn windows... I had Windows microphone volume turned up to 
that was still too quiet. I had the uh, I had um, microphone boost in OBS, which is what I used to record, set to two times, with the game set to one times, so no boost for the game, and two times the boost for my microphone. Still too quiet. So I had to have the game turned down to like 10%. Look at this. Everything's maxed. These are all maxed, except creatures and stuff are turned down, music, jukebox, off, but everything else that you're hearing mostly is maxed out. I have, I had my microphone set to 50%. I have it set to 100% now that I've gotten used to the microphone, right? More used to it. I'm still learning, like, where I need to sit to say certain things, how I'm going to sound if I turn my head slightly away from the microphone or move even just a bit way further. So, I'm learning things, because, like, I've I've made I've been loud in some outros, thinking, oh, that's gonna be loud. I have to turn it down in editing, and then I, I, I because I moved away, I'm like, yeah, let's I'll see you next time, and it's literally the same volume. So you know, <laughs> so I have everything turned up. I have the microphone turned down and everything else turned up, and I am still louder than everything. So that's awesome. That's the nice thing. There's some cons I'd say to it. I'm not gonna give everything away for the full review. Cause I'll be reviewing everything the cables, the power supply, everything. Yes, I had to buy a separate power supply for this microphone because it is XLR. It didn't have enough power just from a mic from a USB port because USB ports give out the two can give out the two amps that it needed, but not the 48 volts it needed. They give like 2 volts. Maybe 5. Or was it 5? I think it's around 5 volts. Regardless, it's very weak. So, I have a power supply which just plugs into the wall and gives me power to the XLR cable microphone. If you're wondering what we're building here, this is a path that's going from the Temple of Artemis, which is slowly despawning, to all the towns and all that, to the spawn spawn area, not spawn town. And uh, this is Homer's base over here. Homer, Homer has been active on the server again, which is mind-boggling. I don't even understand how it's possible. <laughs> he never plays Minecraft anymore. So, yay. But he's here. I've been helping him build his house a little bit. I actually haven't helped him in about a week or two, so any progress you'll see, because you saw no progress before, so I mean, I guess any, pro any progress I'll see is just all new stuff. I don't think he's done much new since um, I was last on his base, which was literally just a few days ago, when we worked out how this path is going to work. So, yay. I want to do more videos like this, where I can just build or dig something out and talk. I, Because I feel like, okay, there's also a new philosophy I'm taking in video making, because there's, what I've been thinking as before is, if I don't have something interesting to do, I, I can't record it, right? I can't make a video out of anything interesting, anything not interesting. So I always sit there and think, oh, I can do this, but I'm not quite prepared for it. I have to dig out this giant area or something, right? Okay, I won't do it. That's not what I'm going for anymore. So I would sit there and just be like, I want to record tonight. And then I would be like, oh, but I don't have every single block that, I, that I'm going to... Can you GTFO? I don't, ha I don't have every single block that I'm ever going to need, so I guess I won't build, I won't build or record tonight. And that's main, the main reason there hasn't been an episode in the past, like, two months or more on Apollo. Apollo is over a year old, by the way. So, go Apollo. Like, I mean, the world's almost two years old now, but... Like, the server that we've been renting from MC Pro Hosting, which I always recommend to people, have a sponsorship, nudge, nudge, no. <laughs> I mean, you could if you'd want to, uh, MC Pro Hosting people, but I doubt you would because I get, like, 10 views on everything, but uh, whatever. I mentioned in live streams and the standard, the, the standard sponsorship contracts. Um, we're all, we almost made it here, but yeah, I recommend it to everyone, because it's very cheap. This server is $10, and it can support as many people as I've ever wanted, so. Oh, I thought, I just reminded myself of something big that I, uh, that I, oh, and I also changed the windows here to be, uh, glass pane, or the glass pane, uh, to be clear, but I think we're going to change it to something else, which I'll also make a resource pack for. I made a resource pack where everything's just clear. Thing is, it makes glass blocks um, invisible. Do I have any in my inventory? No, you wouldn't see them in your inventory. That's inventory. That's the problem. Doesn't look like he has anything new here. I think he wants to make a fountain here, so that's cool. He has a basement. Let's see if there's any creepers down there, or if he lit the place up. Hey, eh, he lit it up enough. Um, 
The new big thing I wanted to mention. Uh, what was it? Um, hmm. No, I, I know what it is, but I think I'm starting to think now that I, there was also something else I wanted to mention. But no, I think it's just this. Is if you've ever heard of Patreon, it's a thing where you can do crowdfunding. So a content creator, for example, like a YouTuber like myself. I say I'm not in this for the money, but the money does definitely help, and it, it, all, it also helps get my parents off my back. can ask people, fans, people who watch their videos, who deem it worthy enough to donate, to, for, to, well, they can donate money to them. It could, it could be monthly, based monthly, depending on what the, what the person chooses, the creator chooses, the creator of the page themselves chooses, it could be monthly, it could be per video, I didn't, I wouldn't ever make it per video because I put out a video almost every single day. You guys would be giving me millions of dollars every month. <laughs> Not happening. Um, I mean, it'd be nice, but <laughs> I'm not doing it for that much money. Like 10 bucks every month, I'd be happy. I've been trying to nonchalantly say it, not non like trying to slip by it as in like not say it, but okay. So I have created a Patreon page. It is www.patreon.com slash Artemis. I could have done Artemis 3 at 7, but Artemis wasn't taken, so I decided to capitalize on the opportunity and take Artemis. If there is an Artemis out there who would like to switch, or like to change, um, because they want it, then cool, we can talk something out. <laughs> but for now, I'm just gonna sit, get, sit, stick with Artemis. I probably put a link. I probably put a link thing up on the screen with like. I don't know if I can do no I can't do links to external websites right now but I'll also put a link in the video description as always and I'll start adding that to every video description the video description now I created I actually created my patreon account back in July but I sat there and thought that's not that's not worth it I don't have that big of a following right by the way this is also new to you guys this is a, obviously <laughs> this is a giant fountain that I created really <laughs> um so I just created it because I felt like it, and I feel like I feel like I've captured a little bit of Greek slash Roman in it. I don't know, it feels really, 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 really cool and old-fashioned style to me. I don't know. I like it. I think we need to make the circle go all the path go in a circle all the way around it, like I did here. Connect to all four en entrances, and I think we're gonna build up a town out in this section here. That'd be very cool, wouldn't it? I'd need help. So if anyone on the server. Is uh want, would love to help make like a Greek style town right here. Hit me up. We're all we're also for everyone who's not on the server. We're also always looking for new members. So hit me up. <laughs> um. So about the Patreon page. So I've made a Patreon page. I decided about a week ago that it that, that I just wanted to create a Patreon page. Just finish creating it. Actually do the thing. Make it public, and see how it is. Right. I've not mentioned it in any videos yet, except this one, so if you watch Apollo, you get the news first. Yay. Um, so, also, I made a basement to the Temple of Artemis. Yay. And I'm starting to dig out a little area down here underwater because I felt like making an underwater room. I like underwater rooms, what can I say? So, the Patreon goals. Let me get the page up for you. Patreon goals. I have four goals created currently. They're not over the top achiever goals. Nothing reach. Nothing. Okay, put it this way. The, it ends at one hundred dollars. That's the maximum, like for every month. So, max maximum I have it at. That'd be cool. But whatever. Um. So the their four goals are, and this is purely optional. I'm not saying go to that or else I won't make any videos. I'm still make videos, but this is a nice, this is nice. What, 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 what do you call it? Like not an incentive, but know, a good deed, a nice deed to help encourage. Speaking of, uh, no, I, mean, I was going to say speaking of encouragement, but I'll leave that for later. Try to keep on topic. You gotta, you gotta excuse my ADD dribbled brain. Shouldn't be doing that with my good sword. Um, so the four goals are starting with twenty dollars per month. I should have started that. Fine. I should have done like five dollars per month. Um, none of these things are giving anything away. Like, say, oh, you donated twenty dollars. I'll give you a signed bracelet. I don't know, because <laughs> um, I just don't have the resources to do that at this current time. Maybe at a later date, if this thing is anywhere even close to successful, then I might. I wonder if it'll let me keep track of every download or download every um donation made so I could sit there and say if at any time 
I get big enough to have the resources to do this, then I'll do this. But where it is. Starting at $20 a month, I have set weekly live streams. Now, I do live stream a lot. I do not live stream regularly. I live stream when I feel like live streaming. It could be it could be any day. Usually it's always at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I could just live stream at any day normally. I want to do live stream weekly li week blah, blah, blah. weekly live streams to Twitch. I like the YouTube live streams because there's the possibility of being able to run ads on it and help keep up help the upkeep over here, right? With some ads, but um the Twitch live streams, no ads ever, as long as I can control them. If the weekly Twitch live streams, if this goal is ever met, would be no ads. Blah 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 blah. I haven't actually. I don't have a script. I'm just talking because I feel like talking while I dig all this stuff out. So, and if there's lots of ums and uh and pauses and all that, that's why. I don't like scripting these things. I don't like scripting any videos. What, usually, what I do is I put down drop notes on a piece of paper on a, on a notepad that I have, and I'll just sit there and be like, okay, I t I'll cover this topic, then we'll move on to this topic. Blah 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 blah. So. That's that. Weekly live streams, yeah, nah, nah. no ads, obviously, on them. But I can't control the ads anyways currently, so... And actually, there are no ads on my Twitch live streams, except the ones that they force roll whenever you join the channel. Oh, okay, I fell down there. But I have no control over that, so yada yada yada. Sure. Looks like someone's awake. But it's 4.55. Oh, someone could be getting... My mom could be getting up. Soon if she has to work... She likes to work early. She's insane like that. She likes to work early. I'm the one up at 5 a.m., but I'm a night owl, so yeah. So the second one is to start doing vlogs. That is at, what is that at? $50 per month? Shooting for the stars here. Shoot for the stars or don't shoot at all, right? I don't know if that's actually a saying. I just made that up now. There you go. Now it's a saying. Now It's, it's now a thing. It is a quote. Hashtag Artemis 2015. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never said I was prof extremely professional with these. I just like having, just talking, having fun, blah, blah, blah. So that is that. It, it's a good incentive. I'd love to start, I'd love to start doing vlogs on my own, but I am extremely shy. There's no way I could just go out for a walk or something, or even just in my own room, pull out my camera and just start vlogging. It feels very awkward. This would be an, a, a great incentive, so. Yeah. Um, let's see. Just kind of focusing on this too at the time. The next one is I'm gonna f I'm actually gonna flip these two around, but um, the next one is console gaming, like as in the PS4 and Xbox One consoles. Screw Nintendo because Nintendo is well. Nintendo actually put recently put out an affiliate link program type thing where if you make a video of one of their games. Um, through PayPal of all things, they'll send you a. You, they take all the revenue, as they're already doing anyways, and then they will send you a share of it. After YouTube already takes its share of it. Nintendo, you just, you just went from you, you went from shooting a shotgun at your foot to just shooting a nine millimeter pistol at your foot. It's better, but it's not great. <laughs> like legally. For most cases, legally, you do not have, they, they do not have any, any reason, not reason, any legal, well, okay, logically, they don't have any legal re, um, reason or upper hand, I guess you could call it, to uh, actually do this, right? Logically, they're doing it legally, because a lot of them, a lot of things are for review purposes, which is in the fair reuse agreement. So, hmm. Meaning, fair use agreement, if you're not aware, means you can use it for reviewing, essentially means you can use it for reviewing purposes. The problem with the fair use agreement is it is from the 70s, and this is 2015, and it still has not been updated. FCC, get your asses off the, off the, off the broadband speed thing and get your asses on that. I'm assuming that's part of their job is to work on agreements and stuff like that. I mean, this is net neutrality we're talking about is it here, is it not? So, yeah. That's my thoughts on it. I'm not going to give full thoughts on it for a certain reason. I'll explain after this. So, yeah, I said we do... Um, the thing is, 
okay, the console gaming was at $75. I'm going to switch that around for the $100 goal because cons those consoles are expensive. It wouldn't happen to, if that if actually if actually we do hit that goal of $100. Didn't I pick that up? What? Oh, I already placed a torch. That's probably why. But if we didn't actually reach that goal, I wouldn't be doing it immediately because it takes time to raise the money and, you know, get ready to actually record on consoles and stuff because I gotta buy the consoles, which are several hundred dollars in themselves, and I need to buy a capture card, which is about a hundred and a hundred to two hundred dollars in itself. But all those videos would be in 1080p 60fps. I know there'd be some interpolation because the not all games on the on the PS4 run in 1080p, and most of the games on an Xbox One run in 900p. So. There'd be a bit of interpolation, but no one seems to really notice on Everlasting Summer. It's not in full 1080p, but the video that I render out is in full 1080p. It doesn't make a difference. Don't worry. It'd be in 1080p, 60fps, so that'd be cool. There's a few games I'd already have lined up. Um, obviously, I'm, pu I'm gonna put it this way. I don't really know of any um, exclusives for, PS for PS4 except for, or for PlayStation in general, except for um, Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo doesn't really interest me, but I would at least give it a look, because I'm a big Forza, Forza fan, so. Um, basically my idea is, if anything is on um, PS4 and Xbox One, I'd play it on the PS4, not because I like it better, but, well, for two reasons. One, the hardware is better, so the frame rate and quality is going to be better. That I'm a, I have an Xbox 360, I haven't jumped to either one, but if I would, if I had to, out of just personal reasons, I'd take an Xbox, because I like their service better, but I can't argue that a PS4 has better specs, ever so slightly better specs, than an Xbox One. It's just fact. It's like saying P PC has better specs than, an X than a console. It's just a fact. So, um, I already have a few games I have I'd um, line up in my mind if we were to actually start this, so, yay. And the last goal, which is what I, the $100 goal, which I'm going to switch around to the $75 goal, is no more ads, even though I don't run ads on my channel anymore. Um, explain that one to me. Uh, though, uh, no ads on any gaming, like any, any uh, paid for games. Like, I'm watching Summer is a free game, and I can play it on my laptop, so I don't bother to run ads on it, because why? It didn't cost me any money to buy to buy the game, so... I mean, my also thought is if my when I th started playing that game, my thought was if the game fails and no one watches it, then it cost me no money to buy to play that to, to get that game. Turns out it's one of my best series I've ever created, like my most viewed series. The first video, one of the videos, is over has over like 50 views on it. So, you guys are amazing. Um, we're just gonna build the path here. I was thinking about making like a bridge or something, but nah, we'll just build the path. So that's that. I have an email. What do you want? Oh. It's just Spotify adding a song to something. I don't really care. You don't need to email me about it. So I'm going to switch that around for the $75 goal. If we ever hit $75, then yeah. I'm going to be... What did I put in there? I do still run ads on some videos. Usually if the game costs money, I run ads on them. At this level, no more ads will be run on any of my videos. So, yeah. Things like Watch Dogs, no more ads. Things like Nekopara is going to have ads on it. Because it's it, it the game costs money. So, I don't necessarily need a, 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 a powerful computer to play Nekopara. Maybe I do. I don't know. I've never played it before. I, don't even, I haven't even bought the game yet. It's just sitting there in my Steam wish list. So... So that's going to be flipped around, so the number of ads is $75, and the console gaming is $100, because the consoles cost more, and the ads make me $2 in two years, so... <laughs> Reasoning. I was like, why didn't I hear him actually taking damage? Because they're turned down. Alright, we're actually going to go out of here, because I want to keep my armor that's left intact, so... That was the big thing I really wanted to talk about, was the Patreon page, so... Glad we got that out of there. I'm going to make a proper video about it, but I think I mentioned something about the fact that I want to start getting into product reviews. I sort of tried doing a review on a game, I said of course, a while ago. If you watch it, you'll see I'm not good at making games. By the way, that's not a chunk there. That's just, that's a dugout area. I'll show that after in, in the morning. Um, yeah, so I'm not very good at it at this current time. 
but maybe if I built, maybe if I wrote up an entire proper script rather than just trying to go off my off the off the top of my head with a few bullet points, I could do better. So we'll try that with the XLR setup. I'll start writing an entire script for the XLR video. So, but like I said, spoilers. I recommend XLR to anyone. I got my microphone cheap, so off Amazon. So cool. This is where, remember I said I was going to do a modern apartment style, loft style building? This is it. This is where it's going to be. I Rather than dig out the areas that I need at the time that I need them, I decided let's dig out the entire area first and build in it. So there's going to be probably some open area outside the walls, but at least there will still be, it doesn't really matter as long as I light it up. Um, right, the other thing I wanted to talk about that I kind of stopped myself from talking about to keep with ADD time. I should see what time at, how long I've been recording. I'd over turn that. Uh, it's been 37 minutes. There's gonna be a small little bit of cuts around, so it's gonna be slightly long. It's gonna be like 40 minutes. Yeah. As you notice, some of my videos are in 720p but 60 FPS. But if they're in 1080p, they're gonna be in 30 FPS. That's because one, it's easier on my system for both for both ways. What it works is 1080p, 30 FPS can render the same length video as, a, as about uh, roughly the same time as it would take to render a 720p 60 FPS video. So, and besides, it, it just works better on YouTube to be 720p 60 FPS. So, um, the reason I said I'm not going to talk too much about my uh, my thoughts on Nintendo and all that is me and Homer are thinking about or considering or trying really to set up a podcast. An Apollo podcast. We can have any number of guests from the Apollo server on it. So if Eddie or Dustin wanted to join us one week or something like that, we could. It would be streamed to YouTube, then uploaded. Well, not uploaded later to YouTube. It's on YouTube already, so then instantly uploaded to YouTube. Um, it would be probably every Saturday at around 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It would go for about two hours or however long we can continue talking without sounding disinteresting to people. <laughs> um, just talking about technology news, gaming news, um, anything that may have controversial happen that in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the world <laughs> that pertains to technology or gaming. Stuff like that. I was like, I wonder where this, I'm wondering where this uh, hole was, right? But I think it's right here. There we go. I also think I don't want to actually go down here. Not this way. Um, I was going to look for andesite, but not here. Let's get back up and fill this hole in. Let's see, so we've come up with a name for it. I'm not sure if I should mention it on camera. Because this is all... I'm going to put this out there. This is all Homer's idea, but I have the hardware and the means and the following to make it really happen so in a way we're working together but it is an Apollo stream Apollo play um what's it called an Apollo podcast that's not the name of it that's because I that's why I can say that out loud on 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 video so um it would be an Apollo podcast is what I'm saying yeah so if anyone's interested in joining us, Dustin, I don't know if Eddie still watches my videos. I'm pretty sure Dustin still watches my videos. Then yeah, um, hit me up. Let me know. Talk to me on Skype. Let me know what's going on. And for the most part, it'll at least be just him and I. The reason I'm saving that Nintendo discussion is for our first episode, which is probably going to be um, after talk with Homer again. But not. I don't think it's going to be this Saturday, but the Saturday after, or maybe this Sunday depending on if he's available. Um, so that's going to be cool. I think we're really really done. I'm just going to finish digging and then build that part, and then we'll end the episode with whatever. I don't know. I want to do more talky videos like this. Is you shouldn't let... I think the saying goes along the lines of you shouldn't let people steer your content in a way you do not want to go. Right? So... Like you guys, I'm not sitting here saying that all oh, people are commenting saying, I don't like this, you should do this, you do this, or I'll un unsub or something like that. I have 32 subs, like, and all the subscribers, uh, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say the subscribers don't really matter to me. The subscriber count doesn't really matter. Oh, whoops, wrong way. The subscriber count doesn't really matter to me. You guys are everything to me. Everyone who watches my videos, I love you all. You are the best people in the world. 
and you are the reason that this continues to be a thing. So many times I've thought, I don't want to, I don't, I, I, I don't know if I'll, I'll, I'll continue doing YouTube stuffs after this series or whatever. And I just sit there and go, oh, this is going nowhere, whatever, right? And then every once in a while, I also get one of those comments that are just like, I love the work you do. Keep doing it. You are awesome. I can see your channel growing all this. And I'm just like, I sit there and I'm so happy. I'm like, I want to record all the things now because I'm in the best mood ever. So it's great to get to, to get that support from you guys. I know I shouldn't need it because I should sit there and realize all of you, all of you who watch enjoy my content because clearly the numbers show and you keep coming back. So I can't help myself. I'm a little bit of an insecure person. So whatever. Um, I'm not saying I'm not trying to get for pity to say, oh, like my video, or subscribe, or you know. Comment nicely or stuff like that. Just watch. Every, just, just watching means the world for me. So, like I'm seeing every view that comes in. Not just from Everlasting Summer. Those are nice. Don't you blow. Why did I do that again? Did I not learn from today? Did I not finish building this part? Oh, no, this is stairs. That's why. <sighs> we'll build this next episode. Rebuild this next episode. Um, yeah, just watching, it means everything to me, because it shows that someone, someone out there, out of this, what, 7 billion people, enjoys my content, has found me, and enjoys it, and wants to watch it, or has seen my channel and said, let's give this person a try, see how their channel is, it's cool, so. Speaking of channel growth, before we end this, I'm gonna properly end this now, it's been 43 minutes, 44 minutes, um, I remember the first that went. Do you, do you guys remember if anyone was here in Apollo season one when I was so happy and everything about 1,000 views? Like a week ago, I hit 4,000 and I was so happy about that. I'm now at 4,400. I see big channel growth. That's what I'm seeing in this, and that really makes me happy. Because it's not like I'm just sitting there saying to people like, "Oh, the channel's going somewhere. The channel's going somewhere. It'll, it'll, it'll do something, right?" It's going somewhere. This is definitive proof that it's going somewhere. It shows not just in the numbers, but the amount of people that, well, that's part of the numbers. But the amount of people that show up, that comment, that like, that subscribe, that <laughs> it's amazing. I'm not gonna get all gushy about this, so. <laughs> I thank you for watching this long and talky episode. If you made it to the end, you're the even more awesome person because I doubt many people do make it to the end of my videos. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.